So why not reset the build number every time a major version releases? Uh, well, the build number traditionally just goes up by one every build. There have been places where it jumps by a little more. Um, we talked about this earlier. Um, but why not just drop it back down to one every time a major version releases? Well, the problem with that is uh, that, well, first of all, it's been, going up it's been going up monotonically for so long that people just assume it will always go up monotonically. Uh, if we dropped it back down to one, people would freak out and, and say, like, oh my goodness, I don't support this version of Windows. You need to upgrade to you know, version uh, 10,240 10, or higher. And it's like, what are you talking about? I've got version one of you know, Windows 10. Um, uh, so you know, that, that ends up creating a lot of compatibility issues. Um, and uh, also, it's, uh, it makes it difficult for people to plan for the future. We tell people that, like, hey, this, fi this bug is fixed in like, build 17,000. Uh, and they're like, great. In my program, I'll check if the build number is 17,000 or greater. And if so, then I can use this feature. And if it's lower, then I won't use it because I know there's a problem with it. And, uh, and then it turns out, in the, meanwhile, in the meantime, oh, we bumped the major release, and the build number went down to 1. And then their logic is broken. Uh, and so the, the build number just goes up because it has always gone up, and if it didn't keep going up, things would get confused.